Hi, this is Larry Chorton, and this is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Cool New Utilities for Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I want to talk about how to export clips from Final Cut 10 to After Effects using Clip Exporter. Another thing that we need to do is we need to move clips into After Effects. One of the things that, that would be nice to have to Final Cut is to have a smoother round trip to motion, which for right now is pretty rocky. But we do have a smooth round trip to After Effects, and it uses a program called Clip Exporter, published by Mind Transplant at clipexporter.mindtransplant.com. It's only available from the publisher's website, and it's free. What it does is it converts exported Final Cut 10 projects into an After Effects comp. What you need to know is that it creates a JSX file, which is a JavaScript file. You run this as a JavaScript inside After Effects to import the files and create the comp. It's easier to create a new project inside Final Cut 10 containing just the clips you want to export than to export a range. Exporting a range exports all the clips on all layers, whether they're selected or not, which means that you've got to disable clips that you don't want to export. Now, to send files from After Effects back to Final Cut 10, export the comp using ProRes 4x4 to preserve transparency and retain image quality. Let me show you. So let's go to Final Cut. Let's go to Space, the final frontier. And I want to use this NASA footage here. I want to do something special with it inside After Effects. So the first thing I do is I select all my clips. I just simply shift-click to select a range of clips. They could be any clips anywhere. I'm going to work with these four. There's no limit to the number. I'm going to go back and open up a new project called Effects and paste my clips in. And let's create this as a 720p project and click OK. Notice that it automatically remembers that the clips were a connected clip, so it adds a blank slug to the timeline and connects these clips up above. But I don't need them to be connected, so I'm going to select that connected storyline, go up to Edit, go down to Overwrite to Primary Storyline, and poof. It's now put all those clips into the primary storyline. Go back to the project library, select Effects, File, Export, XML. You're going to get so tired of that command by the time we're done. Effects, Export is what this is called. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Click Save. It's done before I finish clicking the mouse. Hide this and run Clip Exporter. It says, you sure? I say yes. Thank you very much. So I'm going to go find, there it is, Effects, Export, and click Open. It says, what kind of handles do you want on your clips? I want 15-second handles. You can add serialization. I'm going to have this project start with the code word LJ. I could export to After Effects. I could export to Synthize for uh, motion tracking. I could export to Nuke. I could export to a QuickTime movie or a reference QuickTime movie. I just want to export to After Effects. I'm going to select the roles that I want to work with, in this case video. Watch how long this takes. I say run. It says where do you want to store it. In samples, brace yourself, run, it's done. That quick. Took less than a third of a second. Click OK. I'm done. Quit out. Samples now has the effects JSX file. That's the JavaScript. So let's take a look at After Effects. This will work in After Effects CS6. It'll also work in After Effects CC. I'm running After Effects CC, and it's going to take, oh, about 20 seconds for After Effects to load. So I'll join you as soon as the loading is finished. Now we're inside After Effects, and we don't even need to create a new comp. We just start with a blank slate. So I'm going to click Close, go up to File. You don't open because it's not yet a comp. You don't import because it's not ready to import. Instead, you're going to go down to Scripts and run a script file. Navigate to the Samples folder. There's the effects JSX. Notice that we have not created a comp. Why? Because it creates it for us automatically. And it says I'm done. Took about two seconds. Double-click the effects comp, and there's the files. Look at that. Is that not cool? Those are the files that came in from Final Cut 10. To get it back to Final Cut, all you would do is finish all of your work, export it as a ProRes 4x4 file to retain image transparency and yet keep a really, really high quality. 
getting stuff to After Effects and back is really easy. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Cool New Utilities for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 108. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.